In this video, I've got even more Larry uh, Mr. Black espresso martini inspiration for you. This one is a toffee apple espresso martini. Welcome back, coffee lovers. As I just said, I'm getting Lariat and Lariat, although I don't think I'm gonna get any more Lariat than the Banoffee uh, espresso martini that I rocked out four or five weeks ago now. Uh, that has just exploded on YouTube for me. It's gone, it's gone viral for me, it's gone mini viral. Um, so I absolutely love it. This is a toffee apple version. I really, really do. I looked at it, I was kind of playing about and I thought, do you know what, that'll work. And it, it, it really does deliver. I've had to use uh, a bit of saline solution uh, just to kind of dial it back in. But the saline solution, the salt, just brings the whole cocktail together, the whole apple notes, the whole toffee notes, the coffee notes. I promise you, you are absolutely gonna love this. Right then, let's run you through the ingredients for this. Obviously, I've got Mr. Black in here. Um, I don't think, I love Kahlua, and I say this in most videos, and you're gonna get bored of me, I love Kahlua. I genuinely don't think this cocktail works with Kahlua. Uh, it's gonna be way too sweet, uh, it really is. This is a sweeter one, uh, which you'll see with the um, with the ingredients there. Mr. Black is obviously an unsweetened uh, coffee liqueur, and it makes it perfect to have a fun play around with espresso martinis. So, uh, toffee vodka. Uh, this is not a full strength one, it's more of a toffee vodka liqueur, it's 28% ABV. Uh, so if you've got a toffee liqueur, you could go full strength vodka and a bit of toffee liqueur if you want, but bear in mind that'll bring the ABV, ABV down anyway, but you will have that vodka kick going through there. So, uh, I've got Jay J's toffee vodka. Uh, I've got um, Giffard's apple liqueur, sour apple liqueur for them. I've got a bit of chocolate uh, going on. I've got some espresso. And as I say, this is going to be a slightly sweeter one. So I have got a little bit of saline solution, a bit of salt water there just to kind of dial it back down. So uh, cocktail shake time. It's all the coffee. Yeah, I've given it a good shake up. So uh, first ingredient, I'm going to go for my Mr. Black and I'm going for 30 mil. Uh, 30 mil, one ounce of Mr. Black coffee liqueur. Try it by all means. If you've got a sweet or two, try it by all means with Kahlua. I just, I just think it's going to be too sweet for most people. Uh, so, um, I was going to say Giffard's then. Um, JJ's um, toffee vodka. So I'm going for 30 mil of this as well. One ounce toffee vodka. Yeah. Lovely jubbly toffee apple espresso martinis. I go for 15 ml of uh, sour apple liqueur, so half an ounce. There, oh, toffee and apples, obviously, obviously. And what goes well with toffee apples? Obviously, only a bit of chocolate, doesn't it? Uh, and this is quite. Um, it is a sort of. A, it's more of a cacao than chocolate liqueur. That's what I would call it anyway. But a very vibrant chocolate liqueur. Um, so I'm going for. Uh, I wanted 10 mil. What's that? A third of an ounce. I always confused what a third. What 10 mil is in ounces? Here we go. So a bit of a third of an ounce. Uh, in my espresso, fresh espresso, uh, 30 mil, one ounce. So I kind of loosely stick to my sort of 30, 30, 30 ratio. 30 booze, 30 Mr. Black, 30 espresso, and then play about from there. That's kind of what I go to. Now, just to dial back this sweetness, just very, very slightly, um, saline solution. This is just one part salt, one part water. Probably, probably way more than that, to be fair. Probably one part salt to like seven or eight parts water, but just a bit. You could even just do a pinch of salt in there if you fancy. But saline solution, I've always got some on hand. Pina coladas, I love it for pina coladas. I'm just going for about half a bar spoon, which would be about two and a half, three mil. Bar spoon's traditionally about five mil. So there we go. And that little bit of salt will just kind of bring that back. Kind of give it the salty edge, so salty toffee as well. will kind of give it that little luxurious edge to it. So. Uh, I'm just going to ice this up, and then obviously we're going to give it a big old shake down. Right, there we go, get a little lap drip out. Oh, smelling good, smelling good. I'm going to rock out a glass, I haven't rocked out in ages. I wanted to go for that. Hopefully, hopefully uh, this will be perfect size. Um, it might be, might be a bit too big, but we shall see, we shall see. Right, uh, I'm going to double strain. Oh no, we're looking good. We are looking good. How's about that? Oh, magic. 
That looks good, doesn't it? That looks amazing. Right, uh, and then uh, to garnish, I'm actually just gonna not bother with the garnish. I've completely forgot to get an apple this morning. I'm sorry, I was gonna do a little apple kebab, maybe drizzle some toffee over it, I completely forgot. So as a, I'm not gonna make do, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Right then, if you want even more Larry, Mr. Black sort of espresso martini cocktails, dive into the playlist of the videos up there on the screen. Uh, as always, if you like the recipe, big old thumbs up. And if you don't wanna miss any of my future videos, you need to hit that subscribe button down there. 